Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. Good to see you. <laughs> we are going to be playing Legacy today. Super excited. I know that I said in my last video that I wanted to upload this every week, and I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last upload, but that's only because I went back to California for Thanksgiving. I had a nice family vacation. I took a little break, and it was... Fantastic. I had a great time. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving break as well if you had one. Thank you so much for all the sweet, sweet comments on the last video as well. You guys are so freaking sweet to me. You always lift, lift my spirits, make my day. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for all of the opinions about what you think Evangeline should be and what Edison should be. Such good ideas that I never even thought of. Uh, I have a Celsius today. I got peach vibe. So I'm going to crack this open right now and <laughs> I'm not used to having long nails. When I was back home, I got my nails done for the first time since I've moved and it felt so good. I'm trying to teach myself how to do it because I usually get like gel X nails and no one in the area offers that. So naturally, I decided to teach myself how to do it and holy crap, it's so much harder than it looks. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty y'all, here we are back in the compost household. It is spring. 8 30 a.m on a sunday what day of spring is it day one of spring okay brand new season let's go so in the last one a lot of things happened actually edison is still feeling extremely flirty from his encounter with teddy we met her in the last episode we went to prom with her as friends but after prom they had a great time at the carnival. They went on the cuddle carts together, which didn't go very well. But afterwards, they had their first kiss and it was just super cute. Uh, also, Lamar passed away in the last episode. So the whole time, just Edison was just sad and just going through it. And she stuck around. She stuck with him. She hung out with him, even though he was in a really crappy mood. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I think she definitely made him feel better because he's got all these flirty moodlets. But then he's got that one lingering sad one, which obviously is expected from losing a parent. Zoe is still extremely sad. But yeah, everything went really well with her. I'm excited to explore uh, their relationship some more. Evangeline didn't go to prom with anybody. She kind of just like went and had a good time with her brother and her friends. She has like a ton of friends. She's really close with Mari, which is uh, Teddy's sister. I think that's really cute. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna be playing some more. Let's have a look at the calendar. They don't age up for quite some time. We've got about two weeks until they age up two weeks um <laughs> but yeah one of you guys suggested that who was it shadow star thank you so much for this comment i really enjoyed what you had to say but uh they said evangeline apparently got the jester personality type and she's prom jester she and edison also got the jokester family dynamic sounds like our girl is quite funny maybe she should go into the comedian career or be a funny social media influencer i think that's really cute i don't think we've done either of those careers in this legacy challenge yet we have had a style influencer before which was what i was kind of thinking for her um the last style influencer was olive i believe <laughs> and her and olive definitely have the same vibe but uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of love that idea. And then um, a couple of people said Edison should be a civil engineer because of Teddy's connections with eco lifestyle, which makes sense to me. We haven't done that career in this challenge either. So yeah, I actually love that idea. So I guess that's what we can kind of work towards, I guess. Um, I was also thinking if we should do uni or not. I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go. <laughs> so it's a Sunday, they have nothing to do today. No school or anything, but let me just make sure that they have done their homework already. Uh, you can do your extra credit and he just broke the TV. Good job. At least we have all this money to <laughs> just immediately replace things. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited for the new pack to come out because we could technically make this lot um, multiple dwellings. So like Ren will still be around, but she won't be in our family if you guys want, like that's an option or we can just keep her around forever. Um, Evangeline can also live on the lot, but I won't have to like control her, you know, which is a really, really dope thing for family play in this game. I cannot wait for it to come out. I get early access 
uh, in three days. So I'll be doing a stream and then I'll probably be uploading a video as well about the new pack. I'm actually really excited about it. And everyone's saying that it's like City Living 2.0, which honestly I agree, but the little elements that City Living does wow. not have are what I'm super stoked for, of course. Okay, it looks like Zoe got over her sad mood really fast. It's probably because she's drunk. Uh, which girl, I don't blame you. I really don't. It looks like she is still in her career. She just needs one more promotion. So we can get that in three days and that'll be another career that she has maxed, which is pretty great. Uh, also guys, I'm really, really freaking sad that Plum Tree app is shutting down. That is where I keep track of this entire family. I upload photos of them, skills they've maxed, aspirations they've completed, their middle names, like, just like a little bio about them and it's been really important to me and i'm so sad that the website is shutting down but i made sure to like export the family tree so that i still have it but if you guys know of a like a good uh substitution for that let me know because <laughs> that family tree was such a nice way to keep track of everything um because honestly guys i'm not the biggest fan of the family tree in the game just because you know, when you get further and further, like, look, like, this isn't even the entire family tree. Um, okay, here it is. It looks like everyone is still here, which is crazy, because once you get, like, deeper and deeper into the generations, <laughs> everyone just kind of, like, disappears, and it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Ashton, huh? Bellamy had another child. Wait a minute. I thought you were married to Manami. Oh God, are you guys not married yet? Oh man. Neighborhood stories really messes up my game. Like I will leave a family alone. The, the, they're like together in a relationship. And then like all of a sudden they go off and marry someone else. And I'm just like, why? You guys are living together and you're in a relationship. Why would, I don't know. Neighborhood stories can just be unhinged sometimes and it bothers me. <laughs> so it's like, you need to get them married before you leave them alone. Otherwise you really don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see, how are your skills coming along, Evangeline? So if we're doing comedy for her, should we do comedy or should we do social media? I kind of feel like a famous comedian would be really fun. So maybe we should get her a mic so that she can practice her jokes on there. She definitely does seem like the type of person that would like be bright and sunny and funny and just like make people's days, you know? So I actually love that idea. Ooh, there's a quiet one. Perfecto. <laughs> I guess we could just like stick it right there in front of the window. I think she should be able to access it there. And then civil engineer for Edison. I mean, I get those vibes. I really do. I forget what skills you need to max that career. It's probably like logic, right? Okay, yeah, it's logic and charisma. Yeah, okay, so we can get to work on his charisma skill, just like a little like boost since we already know what careers they're gonna go into. So <laughs> that would be, a mirror that we need so yeah why don't you guys just come into your little guest house and work on your skills a little oh we should probably start a club gathering as well just to get that boost you know start okay and then zoe is the leader of the club I kind of want to make Edison the leader. Luna is calling. Yes, let's chat. Okay, we convinced mom to step down as leader. So Edison is now the leader. This is good. This is good. I really need to like utilize these clubs more. Like, there's just so many things that you can do with them that I haven't even like scratch the surface with. With the club boost, we should be able to get 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 up there really fast. Ren, why are you standing in the pond on your phone, my girl? You're weird. You are so weird. What were we doing? Oh yeah, uh, whatchamacallit, robotics. And it's not blizzarding anymore, so I guess we can um, keep tinkering. Who's this? This is family, I know. Oh no, it's not, it's Emery. Sorry, Emery. We kind of found someone else to have babies with. I guess we could still be friends, I suppose. Lord. Gosh, guys, it's freezing today. It is 24 degrees outside right now. I'm not used to this at all. <laughs> it's a trip. It's so snowy, too. Oh my god, who's calling Ren again? Secret agent? 
No, I don't think so. What is even Ren's career right now? Oh, a musician. She might get promoted too. Charisma level 5 already. Look at us go. What can we do with level 5? Practice storytelling at a mirror and perform a flirty introduction on other sims. Nice. Not that we'll ever be using that, I don't think. Hopefully him and Teddy <laughs> go well. Thingy's crossed. Oh my gosh, even the mic is white. Oh, that's so clean. Oh my god, is that like a disco ball? That's dope. That's such a nice mic. <laughs> Holy crap. Evangeline can now joke about fashion. Those knickers, am I right? Hilarious. So, we, what skills do you have? Parenting is almost maxed. Okay. We can work on that. Ren, are you stuck? I told you to go tinker. What happened? Teleport you. You're a bat though, so you shouldn't really get stuck anywhere. Oh yeah, we should probably uh, clone some more potions as well. Ooh, Kieran's calling. This is her son, by the way. Yeah, we should probably chat with him. People, person, lifestyle. Both of them. Nice. I love it. I need to turn on the heater, I'm dying. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's loud. Ooh, Kieran has spread some juicy gossip about Alice. Isn't Alice dead? Ooh, I'm confused. <clears throat> Alice's ghost is up to stuff. Um, why do you keep going into Ren's house? Cause like, I want my privacy. I like it in here. Zoe has finished creating a carton. Ooh, she made ice cream. <laughs> you are adorable. I love how these sims like use everything in the house. Oh, there's a mic up here. I'm an idiot. Anyways, well, Uma. grab a cone of it. Uh, Get yourself some uh, ice cream, uh, some chocolate uh, ice cream. How many days do you have left? Uh, I thought journey. you had plenty. You do, you're only halfway through your elderhood. Oh my God, that looks so good. Why are the ice cream cones? Now you're calling s What is your problem, Kieran? Anyways, why are the freaking ice cream cones in The Sims so massive? It's like the size of her head. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining, but I just <laughs> I think it's quite funny. Be asked advice, huh? What are you gonna ask her about? I'll get there eventually. Our house is kind of huge. What's up? What's plaguing you? Sometimes I get so angry, I just don't have to do <laughs> Talk it through. Talk it through with someone. All right. Okay, all right, why don't you, uh, let's refresh this kitty bowl, I think it needs. And then what do we need to do for your, uh, join a tea post challenge for both of you guys, I think. And then, uh, Evangeline needs one more friend. Frick, I think we might need to go to school with them tomorrow. I really don't want to, but that's the only way that we can join a tea post challenge. Is that school? Colby is having a baby! And William! Why? Why does that always happen? All the siblings always get pregnant at like the same time. Neither of them are married, but they're about to have a kid. That's cool. Our family is growing by the second. <laughs> I kind of want to like change everyone's last name to Campos just to, uh, who is this? Stella, what? Oh my God. I've been calling her Stella the whole time. Ay, 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 I need to stop doing that. It probably annoys the crap out of you guys. Charlie is here as well. He's pissed for some reason. You better not go break something. Charlie? Charles. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, okay. He, he calmed down. He's just gonna play some Sims. Fair enough, dude. That calms me down too. This is like the least used room in the house because of the potions and plentiful needs. <laughs> So funny. I could have her just take one, but you know what? You ain't got nothing else to do, so you might as well just go to sleep. Fixer bot? What do I do with the fixer bot? Place in worlds. Oh yeah, I want that around the house. That'd be nice. You've got so many potions. Potion of forced friendship. Potion of alluring aura. Potion of immortality. Potion of prompt resurrection? I forgot we had all of these. You know, I think that we should probably give these to <laughs> Edison and Evangeline, right? Aw, she still has her wedding bouquet in her inventory. What can we do with this? Start bouquet throw, hold it, place in world. Oh my God, that's so cute. You could just use it as a decoration. Um, hell yeah, that's so cute. Are you kidding me? She's got some paintings in here. 
some photos, a bunch of toys. I'm gonna, what is this? Broom. I'm gonna sell all these. Oh, that's not a toy, I don't think. Oh my god, Kieran, what is it? What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. <laughs> he keeps calling. Is there something wrong? Alrighty. What time do they have school? Is it eight? It is. Okay. I'll let you guys sleep for a little while longer. Ooh, hey, Ren. Um, why don't you come over here and make breakfast for, for, the, for them and sack lunches? Actually, no, since we're going to school with them. Bruh. <laughs> Excuse me. We should probably just eat at school. Uh, oh my god, eggs benedict? No way. Forever look at me. Oh my god, this freaking photo. <laughs> the founder. I can't wait to redo this house. Honestly, like I love it, but I just want to redo it. I just want to. Also, I have this nightly routine of playing Fortnite now. Um, I started playing recently and holy crap, it's actually so fun. Um, egg day. Oh my God. Is there school today? Easter. Barbecue, egg hunt, flower bunny, decorate. Dang it. That probably means there's no school today. Day off of work in school. Shoot. All right. That's fine. Um, eggs benedict on Easter morning. Yeah, I think that's pretty fitting. But anyways, <laughs> they had the live event today and the new map drops tomorrow and I'm so excited! Yeah. I'm so stoked. Ooh, wow, look at that. Holy cow. Oh, don't eat that, Ren. You need to have a plasma pack. Oh my god, you only have one left. What are we to do? Cleaner bot? We have a fixer bot and a cleaner bot. That is clutch. Slurp, slurp. Place it down. I want to see this. Oh my god. What can we do with it? Activate cell. Don't leave your dishes on the couch, my dude. Really? Hunt for egg in the bowl. Oh, oh my god. That cleaner bot is so cute. I can't. I love it so much. It's just whizzing around. Gonna clean. All right, Zoe, where's that fixer bot? Did you place it? This family is so freaking smart. I love it. We got a rebate. Nice. Where is the fixer bot? Did you place it like I told you to? Mm, I can't find it. Entertainment business, huh? Sorry, we need to get one more promotion in this current job and then we can start taking other jobs, but. What is your problem? What is that? Ooh, you like gardening? That's cute! I think that lines up with the civil engineer thingy. So, go take a shower, go pee. And you didn't even eat any eggs, Benny. What should we do? The weather's not that great, but I guess we could have a barbecue. Aw, Eddie, you're so cute. You are not, you're not harvesting them. Okay. Phew! Mao, you got me scared for a second. Hey. hey. He's like, hey girl. What's good? Let me help you. I have sprinklers. I really don't know why they're watering it by hand, but whatever. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go to the park, I guess, and have a barbecue because that's what it says that we're supposed to do today. <laughs> or we can just barbecue here, but I think that leaving the house every so often is uh, is a good thing because we can interact with people that aren't aren't in the family. Did you guys drink your water today? If you haven't, make sure to do so. <laughs> I know it's not uh, new information, but staying hydrated really does help. I swear it. Ever since I got this cup, I've been drinking like two or three a day. And uh, yeah, everything's just like a little bit more clear, less brain fog. You guys know the benefits of what I don't need to tell you, but this is just my reminder to you that you should be drinking it. What? I mean, that makes sense. Her love, the love of her life just died. 
If it makes sense, I can't help but say yes, you know? Also, what is this? Did I give you this fit? You're looking real elderly. Everyone's just so sad. I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. And I think I'm pretty sure I called Ophelia her daughter in the last one, when really that's her sibling. Yeah, these are all her siblings. Ophelia, Bailey, Bellamy. Um, these two are just... I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> all right. So, uh, he's feeling really sad. He's getting in line for the bathroom. Ren, since you have the highest cooking skill, I guess I'll leave you in charge of the barbecue. Who's this? Is this Bruce? I didn't even get to invite you, but you're here anyway. Look at you, Mr. Sir. Proper celeb. Okay, the barbecue's over here, so let's grill up. We have so many options now, it's kind of insane. Let's make ribs. Oh man, I forgot a lot of us are celebs as well, so. Papa, Papa Rossi. I think that um, goes for pictures, I guess. Maybe it'll make her feel better. She's famous for her books, by the way. Yeah, she's very confident now. She got over her sad mood, which is great. Look at that pose. I I've never played with an elder famous sim before, so like not in this to this extent. So this is hilarious, honestly. How's the barbecuing going? Also, who's this? Is this family? No, it's not. Oh yeah, but oh my God, look at this guy. He's living his best life. I don't know what happened to your butt thus there, but they don't look right. They just don't look right. Who are you? Roberto Hobbs. Get it, Roberto. All right, well, I guess we can call... What, we can't call to meal? We can't garnish it? This is already a fine dish. Well, okay. So we need something on the side. We got ribs and then let's do baked potatoes. Oh my God, Ren! I don't know why Ren is famous. Do you guys? How the heck did you get famous, my girl? I freaking forgot. That sucks. She's a B-lister, but why? Oh, she was an actress at one point. I forgot. She, 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 she maxed the act actress career. Okay, you're gonna give him an autograph, okay? There's no saying no. That is just so mean. Poor guy. Oh my god, what are you doing? Incite no, tears? No, no, no. Stop. Stop it. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, Valley of Plenty. And then, um, ooh, look at this. Luna and freaking Edison are playing ping pong together. This is so wholesome, I can't. We should also... We need to take Zoe's, like, air picture as well. I'm gonna get her to hunt for a couple of eggs in these plants just so she can mark that off her list. What's Evangeline doing? Oh my god, they're so cute. They're all participating in different activities. <laughs> and not just like standing around. Thank goodness. Oh, Valley of Plenty. Oh. oh, Leslie's here too. See, I didn't even have to invite them. <laughs> they're just here. No way! A townie's wearing the marshmallow dress. Miwa! You legend! You freaking legend. Did you give him an autograph? Did you do it? He's still looking real sad. Oh my god! Stop whispering about her! Telling jokes. That's me. Wait, who won ping pong? Ooh, Luna wiped his butt. Wiped his butt? No. <laughs> oh, Valley of Plenty. Man, it's so good to see these boys. What a lively day at the park. Invite guests, huh? Hmm. Who do invite? Let's invite Kier. Actually, shoot. No, I think he'll like burn in the sun. Marnie. Um. Rocio. God, those potatoes look good. <gasps> Leslie is pregnant right now? No way. Everyone's having babies. Are you good? Are you an elder? Oh my god, Luna is an elder. Holy crap. Everyone's dying. Everyone's having babies. Girl, she's just trying to live her life! Leave her alone! Seriously, what are you even doing? You're playing games? This is crazy. 
bribed to leave. She's pissed. She's like, get out of my face. I'm just trying to vibe. Also, Edison, uh, wait, no, don't go home. I need you to take a photo of, oh my God, she's doing it. She's putting the money in her hand. Oh, Zoe. What's when Sokamides? Lenard. DeRoy. She's like, yeah, I'm out. Baby. Yeah. Go take photo of your mother. We need it. Ah, how cute. This is actually perfect for her because she's smarty pants and it looks like she's got a bright idea. Lovely. <laughs> Never been done before. Peanut butter. The whole family's here, pretty much. Yeah. Who are you? Michaela Ward and Aurelia Robles. Well, Evangeline needs to make another friend. So I'm gonna get her to take a potion and then introduce yourself to these two. Oh, look, Teddy's dad is here. Does that mean Teddy's here? Maybe we should invite her. Oh, there she goes. Dude, I just had the gnarliest case of deja vu. Why do I feel like we've done this before? But this is a, a ward. The wards have been in this Let's Play since the beginning. Take the dang potion, you stag! You're giving a bad impression. Okay, make 10 teen friends. Um, okay, well, you're friends with these two. What happened? Why didn't it count? All right, we need to find another teen. Okay, why isn't it working? We just made three new friends. I might, it might be glitching. I might have to cheat it. You can start a tea post challenge, right? Like wherever you are, do you have to be at school? Hmm, I could have sworn. I could have sworn. All right, did you invite her? Focus. Where's she at? Oh, hey girl, you going for a swimmy swim? Kiss. Hello, you lovely creature. Oh no, he stinks. Did I not tell you to take a potion? Oh man, he's gonna go kiss her, but he smells. Oh no, she said don't dump. Oh my God, that was really bad. She's like, you stink. Okay, they're hugging, that's good. Compliment. She does not like compliments. As I click heartfelt compliment. <laughs> Ask about hobbies and skills, I guess. Man, this is bad. Rave about growing up. I don't know. Oh, you're drift. Pleasant conversation. Okay, good, good, good. Dislikes fitness. Interesting. Well, good thing I'm into the environment and things like that. I'm not a jock. Not at all. I don't even like sports. Oh, stop. This is gonna be cute. Aww. This is adorable. I didn't even know this was a thing. This kind of feels like July 4th a little bit, but I guess you kind of do the same. Holy fish paste. <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Is that another teen? It is, Susan Jane, we're already really good friends. Okay, well, th there's someone that we don't know. Friendly introduction. Another one, friendly introduction. Another one, friendly introduction. Another one, friendly introduction. We are gonna have so many friends. We're gonna be the most popular girl in school just by introducing ourselves to people. Holy crap, 383 from investing. I need to get on that level. Okay, it's 8.40 p.m. Zoe's literally sleeping on the fountain. I'm gonna send them home, but I'm gonna stay with Edison. Aw, Elliot Coombs was adopted by the Watson household. Congratulations, Elliot. All right, um, so, girl. <sighs> the, she's honestly such a hard cookie to crack. Ask about day. I don't know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that she's not making this easy. But listen, honey, honey, listen. Aww. Uh, you, your, your future has been decided already, so you might as well just give in. You know? 
I hate it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I just realized I'm doing arranged marriages. These poor Sims. Uh, can I help you? This is my woman. Ooh, this man. Son of Diola. Oh, shoot, uh, uh, funny introduction, I guess. Like, hey. I'm trying to, like, have a romantic conversation with my woman on the fountain. Kankaroo. Hey. Diva. 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 Rigoberto. This place is crawling with teens. Squabble tarpa hey, fucking guna. Oh, oh kankini. Oh. She's also extremely hard to read. Gr really, dude? Alright. I'm having second thoughts. I really wanted this to work! But holy crap! Maybe. Maybe. Evangeline? Maybe her and Evangeline would get along better? Oh, wow. Where was that enthusiasm with Edison? You see what I mean? You see what I freaking mean? Her body language, her reactions... With Eddie, it's like very like standoffish, you know. But with everyone else, she flirted with that random guy. When she saw Evangeline, she was like, "Oh my God, Evangeline!" And like, I don't know. The thing about this game is you can kind of like tell when Sims are into each other. Like Eddie, obviously, is head over heels for her, but she, I don't think she feels Yabasani. the same way. I just don't know. <sighs> We're about to give her a compliment, so right. let's see if she takes it. Ridiculous. Man, but would that ruin Eddie and Evan's relationship if they started dating? They already got a sentiment. I don't know, guys. What do you think about that idea of instead of Edison being with Teddy, Evangeline be with Teddy. I wonder if there's a way that we can do it without wrecking their relationship. I mean, they have the same traits, they have the same aspiration. I wouldn't be surprised if they were both into the same woman as well. You know, they're just like the same. Oh, oh, okay. You are really confusing me. Oh, Zagu Warba. Okay, let's see what happens when Eddie joins the conversation. She's just a really hard person to be around. She's like not very easy to talk to. Girl, if you're cold, change. Hey, what are you guys talking about? I want to see her reaction. <laughs> Just straight up ignored. Wow. Okay, there we go. God, she's so cute, though. What are these? You're so fun to be around. Llama jokes. What is this? What to say from crushing on someone nearby? This poor guy! Um, blow her a kiss, maybe? She's feeling flirty. Okay. Yaba, thanks, Apanai. May, are you going to prom? Oh, okay. Simba want. Splorab, get some done. Baboom! 
I wish we could ask her like how she feels about I'm us. Finished. You know? She just walked away from us mid conversation. <laughs> Unattractive. <laughs> then why is she acting the way she's acting? Throughout the conversation, Edison got the impression that Teddy finds him unattractive. Oh. <laughs> I'm really not trying to force something that's just not there, so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think we should do. Time to go home. This is like one of those situations where I wish the game would decide for me. Like, I want Teddy to either call Eddie or call Evangeline and be like, I have a crush on you, you know that little pop up. I want her to decide. <laughs> Cause it's obvious, it's obvious that Teddy is not into Edison as much as he's into her and it's freaking bumming me out. I wanted to integrate my eco family into my legacy families in some way, but maybe Mari instead? I mean, Mari's beautiful. She seems sweet. Maybe we should go hang out with her and see how things go with them instead. Hmm, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Leslie had her baby, congrats Leslie. Okay. I'm gonna summon Mari over here. Um, yeah, good compatibility. That's good. It, we don't have compatibility with Teddy yet, but we have, I mean, our send flirty text, gulp. Okay, maybe he's like, you know, I'm really into your sister, but I don't feel like she's into me. Can you come over? and talk with me about it because uh, I just, I really need some advice. I can't sleep. All right, they're here, she's here. She's like, hey, I couldn't sleep either. So uh, here I am. Um, what did you wanna talk about? Your sister. I just don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? Hey, welcome. Let's just pretend this was <laughs> her getting here. Just oh my god, he's immediately flirty. Piguna. Philbar. Oh, Pimpini. Uh, Essence of flavor. So she's a chef of sorts. I need you guys to talk. I need to see how this goes. Give relationship advice? No, ask for it. Why is the thermostat right Zipper there? <laughs> Listen, Reveal crush. Wait, you have a crush on her too? Oh, Vene. Uh, Ask about love life. Mm. Get, give, ah, oh, let's just pretend know. this was get relationship advice, <laughs> not give. Okay, they seem to be getting along really well. Share ideas. Brisham, waff it up. Frita? Doing a plus. I mean, I just don't know. What is this, awkward encounter? Did that just happen? Boring conversation? What the heck? That didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. But they did get a sentiment. Well, um, I'm at a loss. I really don't know what to do here. Um, I guess we can just play it out, see how it goes. I'm not really sure. What are you up to? Aww, look at you, you're so cute. She's cross stitching. All right, we're gonna go to school with both of them so that we can join T-Post challenges. Maybe if one of them starts one and the other one can join it and then we can do it the other way around instead of like waiting for a random townie to do one. I don't know, dude. The fact that Teddy flirted with that guy as soon as we left. Like that sucks. That really sucks. All right, can we start a T-Post challenge? Pry? No! Gosh darn it, how do we do it? Do we click on the floor, perhaps? No? Hey, Mrs. Hoppy Lee. How you doing? Add eco-enthusiast decorations to impress Teddy. <laughs> Upgrade, prank proof. That's cool. What's wrong? Awful holiday, digital tears and social bunny posts. No. I guess the T pose challenge, you gotta wait for someone else to start it, which sucks. Cause like, it's like rare. Evangeline scoped the room. She doesn't find anyone cute. 
do we, does she even have preferences? Okay, it looks like she like she's straight. She likes a masculine appearance. She likes humans. She likes she likes blondes. Blondes and red hair. She likes long hair, wavy hair, clean shaven beard. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna change this to both male and female just to keep our options open. This is Wonderful Whims, by the way. It's pretty clutch. She likes gray eyes, brown eyes, and unnatural eyes. Contemporary and rocker style. Okay, what about you, Eddie? Just wake you up really quick. He likes black hair, brown hair, and white hair. Um, he likes long hair. No wonder he's so attracted to Teddy. And then style-wise, hipster. Oh, okay, he's into hipsters. It looks like Zoe is at work today. So, um, she might be getting promoted, which is good. Looks like they both did great today. Oh my god! What's happening right now? Why am I getting all of those? Anyways, it looks like Zoe got promoted. So, yeah, she maxed another career. Wild. Uh, straight and honest. Oh my gosh. So we can retire then? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna get you to retire. You literally don't need to go to work anymore at all, ever. Uh, so, play hooky. <laughs> I always forget we could sit in on a skills class, which is a good way to get your skills up. Find a job, retire. Oh my gosh, this is a big moment for you, babes. Happy retirement, you reached the top of your career. You famous. <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Are you a teen? What's your name? Marilyn Rob. Marilyn Rob, how you doing? Wanna be friends? Yes, she should retire, absolutely. It's like, that's all I got in me. Thanks for the opportunity. Zoe retired as a creative world. She will receive a pension check every day based on her salary at the time of retirement. Magnifique. You didn't even introduce yourself to her. How are you guys already good friends? Dude, good reputations are actually insane. Anyways, we haven't heard from Teddy or Mari lately. Let's go! Ren got promoted as well! That's my girly plot. I think she's level eight now. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna, probably gonna max that too. Oh my gosh, well, while we're sitting here, I think that is such a cute cross stitch. Are you kidding me? Let's do like a little bit of parenting because I really want her to max parenting. Influence skill building. Practice comedy. That's really all we can do is like influence them to do stuff. To really pursue that comedy career. Wow, level nine, that bumped us up really far. <laughs> cool. So she'll probably max that soon. Let's give the cat some attention. And then, Ren, can you clean this up? Can you repair that? Where's that fixer bot? <laughs> Seriously. Also, why don't you brew up a big batch of... Potion of Plentiful Needs. There it goes, zooming around. Imagine coming over to someone's house and seeing that. I want to know where she put the fixer bot. Oh, there it is. Oh man, we haven't been in this room in a hot minute. Like, wow, feels good to be back in here. I, I kind of forgot that I was a, a witch, a magician, a spellcaster, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh my God. Marnie started a pregnancy with Ignacio Snow and Bruce got married. <gasps> oh geez. Oh my God. The drama. The freaking drama. So Bruce just got married, right? To her. She has two kids, okay? One with Bellamy. And the other, hold on. I'm pretty sure the other one was, was Wilson. 
Did Wilson have his kid yet? Wilson is Felix's children. Okay, it doesn't look like she has given birth yet. But I'm almost positive that she's having a baby with either Wilson or Colby. <laughs> Wilson and Colby are Bellamy and Bruce's nieces. Nephews and nieces. Nephews. So this girl had a baby with two, with a, with, with a brother that of the guy that she married, okay? And <laughs> of a nephew of the guy that she married. That is so unbelievably messy. I can't even compute. My mind just can't compute. Uh, the only reason that I, <laughs> that I was able to put that together in my head was because she has a very unique name. And I've seen it pop up multiple times. This girl is just sleeping her way through the compost family. I literally can't. What are you doing? Cross stitch. Why is everybody cross stitching? I mean, it's fine, I guess, but holy cannoli. All right, gang. So I think that's going to be it for today because I really want your guys' feedback about what we should do about Teddy. I am at a loss. You guys have witnessed it all. You know what's going on. I want you to tell me what you think. Should we keep trying? Should we keep trying to win her heart? Should we move on? Should we get her together with Evangeline? There's so many questions. Should he get with Mari or should we just find someone completely different? He knows a bunch of other teens. I just don't know what to do. I really want your guys' opinion, so make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys next week with another legacy. I'll be uploading Career Legacy as well sometime this week, so keep an eye out for that. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!